Here's how to set up a stretched resolution in Fortnite Chapter 7 using the exact same methods pros like Peterbot and Venno have used in the past without black bars or Fortnite forcing you back to native. By the way, if you're wondering why players still use stretched resolutions, it's because it makes player models look slightly wider, which can help with aiming, and it can also boost your FPS on some systems, which is great for low to mid tier PCs. Right now, the only stretched resolution I recommend using is 1720 by 1080 yes it is the exact one that Pete bot has used in the past what's great about this is it's just the perfect middle ground res it's not too stretched like 1550 by 1080 is where it negatively affects your fov and it's not too pixelated like 800 by 600 is where it makes a game ui just unreadable in chapter 7 right now the best one you can use is 1720 by 1080 and that's why i'm just going to focus on this resolution in this video today so in order to set up a stretched resolution, it's important that you firstly make sure you are using the best competitive settings. Inside Fortnite, go to your video settings. For windowed mode, full screen will give you the lowest amount of input delay. But if you do prefer windowed full screen, that's fine. Just make sure you set up this setting in windows. As for resolution, just keep this on your native one for now. For VSync, you want to turn this off as it adds input delay. Frame rate limit is best matching your monitor's refresh rate. So if you've got a 240Hz monitor, set it to 240fps. For the rendering mode, this should always be on performance mode, but when it comes down to DX11 or DX12, you'll have to test both of them out on your specific PC specs. From there, just choose whichever one gives you the best performance and most importantly, the best stability. Scrolling down, you want to set the view distance and the textures to the lowest ones possible to get more FPS. Same with the meshes as well. And scrolling down a little bit more, if you do have an NVIDIA GPU you will see this setting. If you've got a decent PC you want to try on or on plus boost but if you've got a potato PC you might be better off having this turned off completely. Just try each one out and see which one performs best for you. Once that is done we can now move on to the actual stretch dress setup. So starting off with step one you want to go over to your desktop and press the windows key and R at the same time. In the box that pops up you want to type in percentage sign local update a percentage sign and press enter. Then you want to find the folder called Fortnite game, open it and go into saved, then config, then windows client. And in here, you will see your config file, which is the game user settings one. Now, before you open up this and change anything, you want to actually go into its properties and make sure that the read only box is unticked. From there, click apply and okay. Now we can go ahead and open it up inside the notepad. And if you scroll down to this section right here, where you'll see the resolution size and the last config firm resolution size. These two sections is where you want to replace your desired stretched res. So wherever you see your native res like 1920 by 1080, you want to change that to your desired stretched resolution like 1720. And if you're on a high resolution monitor like 1440p or 4k, it's important that you convert the 1080p stretched resolution to that higher res so it feels the same on your monitor. Just whatever you do, don't forget to fill those two sections. From there you can save it and go back into the game user settings file where you're now going to right click it go into properties and this time around we're going to select that read only box what this will do is it'll prevent fortnite from changing the resolution back to your native res when you open the game or touch any other video settings moving on to step two this is where we're going to ensure that your pc is correctly scaling your stretched resolution you want to right click on your desktop click on show more options and open up your nvidia or your amd control panel. Since I'm on Nvidia, I am just going to show the Nvidia method, but the AMD method is very similar. On the left side though, in the change resolution tab, you want to firstly make sure you select your main gaming monitor and also select your native resolution. Under the resolution list, click on customize. Then at the bottom, there should be a tick box that allows you to create custom resolutions. From there, you can click on create a custom res. Now inside of here is where you're going to enter your desired custom resolution. So for me, that's going to be the 1720 by 1080 in both the horizontal and vertical. As for the refresh rate, leave that the same and you do not need to touch the advanced timing settings. You can now press the test button and do not worry, your screen may flicker for just a second. This is all normal, don't panic. Just click yes to save it. And after that, you will notice that your custom res will appear in the list of stretched resolutions for that monitor. Now, if you want your whole resolution stretched, you can just select it in here, but you do not 
have to. I know some people like to have their desktop stretched too, but if you just want the game stretched and not your desktop, you can select back to your native resolution. When we launch Fortnite, it'll go in this resolution from the config tweak. But now to ensure that you have the lowest amount of delay possible when you are using stretch strays and you do not get black bars, you need to go inside of this tab right here, which is the adjust desktop size and position. Inside here, just make sure your main gaming monitor is selected, then under scaling, select full screen. What this will do is tell Nvidia to stretch the image to fill the monitor instead of adding those black bars. Another thing you need to do is choose between the GPU or display under the perform scaling on. GPU is what I normally recommend as it will work on any monitor, so it's really the safest option. However, a lot of players prefer the display as this uses your monitor's chip which can lower the input delay. But I do believe you will only feel this reduced delay if you do have a high quality monitor that has a decent modern chip. After that you can now launch the game and you will see you are in a stretched resolution but this time hopefully it will feel better and you will not have any black bars. Now after you have had a few games of stretched resolution it is very possible that you end up not liking it which is fine because I'm now going to explain how you can revert back to native. It's very simple just head back to your desktop and go through the exact same process we went through earlier to find that Fortnite game folder where we're going to go through all the options again to find that game user settings file. Once you've found it you want to go back into its properties but this time we're going to uncheck that read only box so that all of our settings are no longer locked and then click apply and ok and if you actually open the file up itself in the notepad you want to scroll down to those same resolution sections but this time to revert we're going to change those custom reses back to our native resolutions so if you're on 1920 you would change it back to 1920 by 1080 on both the sections just don't forget to save a file after next from that you want to open up the nvidia control panel and go back into change resolution where you want to set your monitor back to its native res and finally you want to go into that adjust desktop size and position and if you're returning back to native you need to set your scaling to no scaling and you also want to set your perform scaling on to display and after that if you launch the game back up again you will be on native resolution but that's how you set up a stretched resolution in fortnite chapter 7 before you do go feel free to check out any of my other chapter 7 videos on screen right now